Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at a pair of wired 3.5mm buds, which are interesting because they claim to have a modular design. So wired headphones, of course, are just a dying breed these days for the mainstream audiences because of the wide popularity of wireless headphones and wireless buds, which are just very convenient as more and more smartphones don't have a traditional headphone jack. But if you are using a device that still has a 3.5mm port, Something like this can still have its advantages, such as offering us more detail, as well as something that you never really have to charge. Uh, that's why audiophiles still use wired headphones to this day, even as improvements in the Bluetooth space have grown uh, over the past few years. Now, this is also interesting because the M0, again, is a modular design. That means all the parts are completely detachable, which I haven't seen before. So this allows you to even remove the drivers or the speakers on the left and right sides. You can replace it if it breaks, or you can even upgrade it, although that does rest on the company making parts compatible with this. So that is a big if, but still is a really interesting idea. Idea. And the style of the driver here is a little bit of an older style that is reminiscent of headphones or the original Apple earbuds from the early 2000s and instead of the newer shape that is more ergonomic. And the driver it's included with is a 20 ohm titanium 15.4 millimeters with a frequency range of 15 to 20,000 hertz, which has actually been 3D printed. And inside here we have just another small internal box with the company's logo. And then finally we have just the headphones presented on top. To emphasize that it's modular, everything has been detached out of the box, as you can see. So we get the wire, which is 3.5 millimeters gold plated, but there is no built-in microphone or remote on it. A closer look at these, the body is constructed out of aluminum alloy, as you can see there. That's a connector for the cable. And then we have just the driver part here, which looks like this on the other side, which again, technically you can just wear directly if you prefer, thanks to this particular design shape that they're going for. There's kind of a soft touch accent on the edges, metal plating going on, popping it in and applying a little bit of pressure. Although it is still relatively easy to open uh, just by kind of removing like that. So if you want something with more added rigidity, maybe resistant to things like water, if you want, are using it in the rain or shower, then this might not be really the choice for you because of all these different parts that can easily pop open. Underneath, aside from the buds, we also have a carrying pouch, which is a nice extra that you can use to store the headphones and take them with you when you're traveling or on the go. Now, this isn't the first time we've checked out a product from Smallbat. The last time we saw another pair of IEMs or in-ear monitors that had a switch on the side that you can press on to boost the bass, and you can also switch it on the other side to change the EQ into a more neutral sound. So it seems like all of their products do have some distinctive elements in terms of design, whether it's being modular or having extra switches. So let's take a closer look at the whole thing fully assembled and talk about the sound quality and performance next. The sound here is overall very detailed and it has a pretty natural reproduction when it comes to mids and trebles and textures of voices are captured well. The same thing goes with instrumentals like the pluck of a guitar string sounds just really pleasant. However, if you're listening primarily to EDM or bass heavy bass boosted music, that is one area where these M0s will struggle a little bit more just by nature of this type of design. Since they have a larger foam that basically is just resting on the outer edges of your ears compared to something that has more of the silicon style that really is being able to push in more tightly into the ear canals and as a result create a tighter seal and seal is very important when it comes to having bigger bass especially in smaller buds. So just like Apple AirPods as a result these are going to feel a bit more open they're a bit more loose it's comfortable when it comes to listening to music for hours and hours by wearing these however uh, you certainly aren't going to have uh, really as tight of a bass experience. I wouldn't say that bass is completely invisible it's still present especially in mid bass sections. However, it's definitely not going to be as rumbly or thumpy or deep as some of the more bass-heavy pairs of buds. It's not necessarily anything good or bad since music is all subjective and it just depends on what genres and types of music that you usually listen to. If again, if you're primarily listening to vocals, something a bit lighter, as well as having an emphasis on mids and trebles, then this is going to be excellent. But again, if you are a bass head, then that's where the M0 style and the design that we're seeing here uh, probably isn't going to be the best fit. So thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the interesting Smallbat M0.